we have a chance to keep Yiddish alive at some level. Uh, we have, of course, a, 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 maybe a greater chance to keeping Jewish culture and Yiddish culture alive in, a, in translation. Um, and it's, it's, I, I've learned not to, you know, not to lecture. You know, in my own kids, I, can't, I, I couldn't get them to, to study Yiddish. I had one daughter who went to Colombia. And I kept saying that when the, when the Yiddish uh, course was in Colombia. And I said, honey, why don't you take it, you know? And, you know, the, the kids do what they want to do. And especially if their parents are telling them to do it, it's not, they, 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 they don't want to do it. Uh, so I don't lecture. And I, but I think it would be wonderful to keep these things alive. And, I, and I'm excited by all the programs of the center, besides collecting books, which was... Uh, a monumental task, and um, you know, you know, a historic task. I mean, but they, in addition to that, all the cultural stuff they're doing, and I, I think it's very important, and it'll be kept alive. Uh, and we, and we can't tell, you know, the, life is sort of infinite in its possibilities. So we. You know, I, I mean, I can end with, you know, with, we, we, the, the obituary hasn't been written yet for, for Yiddish, but the kind of life Yiddish will have uh, as we go on, it's hard for me to predict.